Now to the Bronx, where beauty salons and barbershops are pleading to reopen. They are tightly knit into the fabric of their communities, and they've been struggling. CBS 2's Tony Aiello has this. In the Bronx, one single block of the Grand Concourse has eight barbershops and beauty salons closed by order of Governor Cuomo March 21st as non-essential. You're having already some salons, $30,000, $40,000 of debt. These owners are mostly immigrants, all losing money, and convinced political leaders don't understand the role they play for their community or their clients. I don't think they understand the importance of giving emotional support by beautifying our clients, and that's what we do to our clients. Nobody's understanding that. Thursday, they begged the governor and mayor for help. they saying we can work with the city and the state, address the preventive measure so that we can uh, reopen our business. We're more than willing to do the work, but they have to help us. They'd like clear-cut guidelines on social distancing and sanitation protocols and permission to reopen. Demands like these are being made across the country, where some salons and barbershops are reopening in defiance of orders. The state of Michigan has revoked the license of this barber, while in California... It's been 45 days. It seems like um, a power grab based on fear. Hair salon owner Juan De Marais is open in defiance of a cease and desist order. New York operators say they understand the desperation that leads to civil disobedience. Your bills are accumulating. You don't even know how you're going to pay your phone bill or your rent. The industry looking for an end to the 55 day lockdown. In Grand Concourse, the Bronx, Tony Aiello, CBS 2 News. And Governor Cuomo has said he views his salon business as high risk because it requires close proximity with the client. He wants these businesses in a later phase of the reopening plans for the state of New York.